So today we're headed to Chicago and we're going to wind test this DJI Mic 2 and see how it performs in the Windy City. And I hope it's windy because otherwise we could have just filmed this here. So we made it here in Chicago, the Windy City, and we are testing out the DJI Mic 2. I have the windscreen on and I have the intelligent noise canceling and the waves here are absolutely roaring. When we got in last night, it was a blizzard. But how does it sound now? This is probably the best settings you can do on a crazy windy day or if you're down in like a very noisy area such as this. Um, these waves are crazy loud, so if I'm yelling, that's probably why, and if you don't hear them, it's because the microphone is doing a great job. So here is without the windscreen. Let's see how that sounds. All right, so this is without the windscreen. Still have the intelligent noise canceling going on, but we're about to turn that off and see how that sounds. As I get killed by the waves. All right, windscreen off, intelligent noise canceling off. Should be able to hear all the background. Check these waves out. So let's put the windscreen back on. And I'll turn intelligent noise canceling back on and it's as simple as that really and we should be getting really decent audio you should be able to clearly hear my voice no problem um, and we're down here at the beach in Chicago kind of like we do in Cleveland except uh, you know it's not as big here but there's a lot more to look at the beach is not as big as as my normal beach so we're gonna spend a couple days here and we're gonna test out the DJI mic too and kind of see how it does with recording the environment I'm gonna try to get you know just sounds of the city and also some good audio of walking around. Let's do it. All right, so it is early morning here in downtown Chicago. And we have the DJI Mic 2 set up via Bluetooth to my iPhone. And if I were doing a run and gun situation, Bluetooth is probably the way I would go just because of its convenience and simplicity to set up and there's a lot of less moving parts. It's pretty windy right now, just kind of in my face, so definitely a good test to see if it does work. It's just blistering here. They weren't kidding when they called it the Windy City. Uh, but I think the audio is actually working pretty good. Now, one of the things that you do lose, or that not too many people talk about with this Bluetooth feature, is that you also lose some other features that you would have if you were to connect it to the receiver. And one of those features is with the intelligent noise canceling. You will not be able to use that intelligent noise canceling via Bluetooth. It's kind of just the microphone connects directly to the phone and there's no other internal noise canceling outside of that. Um, you also do lose the ability to record internally onto the microphone. Let's talk a little bit about this actual wind screen here. I love it because it's so easy to attach to the actual microphone, unlike some of the other wireless mics that have the smaller kind of clips. This just plugs in directly into the lav mic. It's super easy and it's super steady. It's a very just 
simple design. It's actually a great design, fits perfectly onto the mic. All of this is covered. All of the areas where the microphone actually connects or where the microphone actually registers in this area here is extremely well covered by the actual uh, fur or fuzz. Um, and I just love that it plugs in like that into the lav mic insert. And it just has a very small footprint. It's not huge, it's not absurd like some of the other ones that, you know, really kind of blow in the wind and, and just look ridiculous. Uh, when you have this microphone on you, pretty much nobody notices it, which is a nice feature, uh, unless you really like to stand out. And then when you're done with it, super easy to find the actual lav plug, plug it right back, back in, and then you're good in the wind again. I honestly just leave this thing on all the time. I don't know why you would really need to take it off. And that's the one thing I like about this DJI mic is that there's not too many features that you really need to make it a great microphone. But it's 7 a.m. I gotta get Julie some coffee. I need some coffee in me. It's pretty brutally cold out here. The sun is coming up though and it looks like it's gonna be another beautiful day here in Chicago. And we gotta head home today, so. If you guys wanna know what gear I used on this trip to get all of this footage, check out the description below. I list everything I use in every video that I do. Uh, create. So if you guys have any interest in the gear that I used, check it out down below. So we made it back from Chicago and we had an awesome trip and we definitely got some wind. So I just want to do a, a little summary and conclusion of my thoughts on the audio while I'm sitting here editing this video. And first things first, right off the rip, is I felt that the beach audio sounded horrible. And after doing some research and looking into it a bit and going over the video, I determined it was because of that intelligent noise canceling. I think that the waves crashing on the beach along with the wind just was way too much for that feature and just kind of overcame it. And it just wasn't able to keep up with all of the noise. And in turn, it was a lot like if you put on voice isolation in Final Cut Pro if you've ever used it. Uh, it's just a feature that isolates your voice and kind of drowns out all background noise. But if you crank that all the way up, it gives that same digital kind of sound to your audio. And that's exactly how the microphone sounds if you put that intelligent noise canceling on and there's just too much background noise. So the best way I found to combat that, uh, again, going back to the video, is if you turn it just off in windy, super windy conditions, or if you're at the beach uh, specifically. And I think just letting the windscreen do what it is made to do and drown out that wind from hitting the actual microphone is the best plan of action to get the most crisp and kind of clear audio. Uh, if you're at the beach anyways, you're probably gonna want the beach waves hitting the beach. Otherwise, you would just probably film somewhere else. But I think that the wind muff performed really well. I think it did a great job if you go back to the video when I take it off, uh, the, the noises are much louder uh, and you can hear the waves and everything at the beach just and it's just almost overbearing. But with the windscreen on, I think it did a great job of just making you focus more in on my voice and drowning out that background noise and the wind specifically. Moving on to the Bluetooth audio, I filmed in Bluetooth around those statues and it was a very windy morning and I thought that the Bluetooth was totally fine. I've seen some videos where people didn't really care for the Bluetooth audio for the Bluetooth mode, they didn't think it sounded that great. But I think that for what it's purpose for, which is more like using it on your phone or the DJI Pocket, I think it's a great alternative to the internal microphone on your phone or the DJI Pocket microphone internally. Uh, I think it sounds really good, honestly. I don't think it's that bad at all. Uh, and it gives you so much freedom uh, from having to have a receiver on your iPhone or on the Pocket and it just makes everything much simpler and a lot less moving parts. That's kind of how I prefer to shoot when I'm using my iPhone is with that Bluetooth mode. It's just too cumbersome to bring the receiver and attach it. And, you know, it just makes everything big and then you just can't throw your phone in your pocket afterwards. And so my overall thoughts after watching the video is I thought the DJI Mic 2 performed really well in windy conditions. Uh, let me know what you guys think, though, in the, in the comments below. I'll be coming out with a lot more videos also on the DJI Mic 2. So if there's any questions or in, any interest in specific parts of the microphone that you'd like to know before you maybe purchase it or what have you, let me know in the comments below as well. And 
I'll definitely test those things out. I am Brett Miller and my channel here is geared towards mainly camera gear and everything that entails living your best life and the gear I use to do that.